with a check. She's gonna come into the store and spend like two hundred thousand. Oh, she is. Yes. Susie's free to come into my store any day and spend two hundred thousand. <laughs> I believe if Susie came in the store and spend two hundred thousand, you still beat her up. Would you, you know, beat her up? No, you know what? I'm really over the Susie thing. You know, I was definitely upset and hot. You know, while we were filming and as. As we were filming, I kept hearing, you know, different things that, you know, she was saying and stuff like that. But um, after watching the show, she definitely seemed very apologetic. So, you know, I'm past it. For well, sure. you know, you know, when you're watching the show, it's kind of <laughs> like, since it comes on weekly, you guys take like day to day to day. Right. But when we watch it, it's like it's it look it looks as if it's spread out. So it looks like every time you see Susie, it was like I saw Susie last week. <laughs> oh, me, Susie. No, I know. I saw and Susie a week later. You know what? You need to learn how to mind your business. Right, right. You right. talk too much. And you know what? And it was it was definitely, you know, a little frustrating for me because it looked like I was attacking her every time I seen her. Every but, time. You know, so, but you know what? When you sign on to do a show like this, it, you know, it is what it is. You can't really control editing and, you know, it's good TV. So, you know. Is it worth the check? It is, you know, I, I initially, not really, you know, the check, I really signed on to do the show because I own a shoe store in um, Florida called Dulce, and that's the one and only reason why I signed on to do the show is to help promote my shoe store. Now, as a result of the TV show, how's the store doing? Store is doing good. Store is doing good. Um, it's definitely not where I want it to be because I always have, you know, um, I have a, a huge vision and I want to open up another shoe store, but um, it's, doing, it's doing well. Yeah, I saw my homie come in there. He bought some shoes. That was like... Got a nice price tag on them. Well, um, oh, the I like the red uh, Ale um, Alexander McQueen's Ashley's. Um, yeah. Boyfriend. Yep. Yeah, Alexander McQueen's are pricey, so you know, but they're hot shoes, so if you have it, why not? Now, if a lady in Atlanta wants to shop at your store, how can she do it? Can she, can she do it online? Yes, she can go to www.dulceshoes. D U L C E shoes with an S dot net. So. How many pairs of shoes do you have in the store? I, I bet you I have more pairs of shoes than you got in your store. Um, I have shoes in storage currently, so I have a, a lot, a lot of shoes. I have, even before I opened up my shoe store, I've always had a, a shoe thing from when I was younger. So um, I have a lot of shoes. I couldn't even tell you how many. My shoes have two bedrooms, a bathroom, <laughs> and a hallway. <laughs> Mine too. So Evelyn's in the building. She's here. Basketball wives. Is there going to be another season? Um, yes, I believe there is. You know, it ended up being, we didn't know it was going to do, you know, this well with the ratings. Um, it's the high, highest rated show on VH1, so um, I'm almost positive. Y'all be Flavor Flav? Oh, um, no, I don't Flav. know what Flavor Flav. He, he was on VH1. Yeah. Was he? Yeah, I think he was. He was. Yeah. You know what? I don't know what his ratings were, but I know right now we're beating everyone else that's on VH1. Flavor so. Flav had a stupid crunk at VH1. He really did. He started it all off. He did. He had a few seasons, didn't he? A few seasons? I was about to ask you. I want to know if Hoops going to be on the new season of Basketball Wives. Mm. Is Shawnee going to let Hoops on the new season? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I think that's a, a conflict of interest. Uh, tell Shawnee, <laughs> tell Shawnee she crunk all this up. So she got to... But she you definitely got to let hoops on the show. Shawnee, Shawnee's about her business, so she, you know, who knows? That would be a nice twist to to the third season. That would be a crazy twist. Right? That would be. I may need to talk to her about It'd that. would be like... <laughs> Evelyn and Susie. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> no, you know what? Shawnee's very, uh, she's a little more quiet and a little more relaxed, you know? I don't know about that one, though. That may that may bring it out, bring it out, like T.I. <laughs> you know what? Shawnee has a, a boyfriend, and she's happy, and, you know, she's, she's past that, you know? That's what she's telling you. I know she is. Trust me. If Hoops come on the show, <laughs> trust me. You think her, her... It will go all the way down. Well, that would be great like TV, a wouldn't crash. it? It would be super TV. <laughs> the ratings would be like Super Bowl. Right, right, right. So, we'll see. You never know. Well, check it out. Evelyn's in the studio right now. I know we have a lot of people in Atlanta that watch Basketball Wives. 404-741-WV. You can text us your questions. Call us up in the studio. Don't call us say nothing stupid. But if you got a good question... <laughs> Call us up, 404-741-WVE. She's in the building. Susie's best friend. <laughs> Susie's ears are probably ringing right now. We got to talk about um another lady on the show, too, because she has a kid for, from an AT alien. 
Um, who's that? Come on, man. Who you don't know? No, I don't know. Who's that? Huh? Oh, Royce. <laughs> Royce who? <laughs> yeah. The cheerleader. Yes, Royce. Hmm. And we're going to find out why the show called Basketball Wives and nobody's married. Well, one person's married. One person, right, and I think she's about to get a divorce. So. It's not finished yet? <laughs> no, it's not finished yet. But you know what? We, we we weren't in control of the name of the show. You know, that's what VH1 wanted to name the show. You know, even when I got asked to do the show, um, my first thing was, well, me and him are not together. We're not engaged. But, you know, they wanted all aspects. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we get asked that all the time when people mm -hmm. comment, oh, nobody's bad. You know, nobody's even a wife. But we mm -hmm. didn't mm -hmm. control. We don't have no control on, on the name. I guess you could say the same thing for the Real Housewives of Atlanta, too, huh? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I like that show. <laughs> v103, the most wanted AGM. You count three. down the top eight Evelyn is in the studio from the Real, well, okay, from the Basketball on. Wives, not the Real, right. the Basketball Wives. VH1, season two? Season, we're going on season three. The season three? I'm looking at, we, look like season, a lot. Season two just, just aired. We're, we're going on our last episode. Okay. And hopefully, and hopefully three, which is you know. I think the new, I think happen. the new show should be about your shoe store. I think so too. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. People Station, people <laughs> three. She's in the studio.